This video is the second in the series on Anaconda. In this video, I will be using some of the packages downloaded with Anaconda to demonstrate a few extremely simple data science operations. The website Kaggle has a large collection of free data sets and I will demonstrate downloading one. Next, I will grab a basic Jupyter Notebook file and use it to manipulate the data set. The demonstration shows how Anaconda has made playing with data sets easier by providing the required Python packages in one fairly easy install. Let me go to Firefox web browser, open it up, and I'm going to search for Kaggle. K-A-G-G-L-E, and here it is. Kaggle has over 50,000 free public data sets you can download. In addition, there are 400,000 Jupyter Notebooks you can review for coding practices. Free classes are available to advance your coding skills, and if you get good enough, you might want to get a team together to enter a Kaggle dataset competition. In order to get a dataset, you can search for them using right here, datasets. But in order to get one, you're going to have to sign in. So I'm going to basically look at 100 richest people in the world. Pick this data set here. And before I download it, I have to uh, sign in. So I'm going to sign in and then come back. So I've signed in. I'm back. So now I can download it. Before I download it, let me go scroll down a little bit here. And it shows you a little bit of the data that it shows and how it's formatted. And if you want, there are some additional notebooks you can actually look at and download. That varies with each data set. I'm just using this as a demonstration data set and you can pick your own data sets and do your own searches. So let me click on download. So it's downloaded. So the next thing I'm going to do is download a file or actually a Jupyter Notebook to work with the data set. To do that, I'm going to go to GitHub slash Baba Rainer. Just like I have a, a YouTube site, I also have a GitHub page. Hit Enter. And then click on Repositories. And Jupyter Top Richest. And then data frame Richie's IP YNB. Open that file up. Click on raw. And then right click. Save page as. And this is a JSON file. And again, this is going to go to my downloads directory. Click save. And I'm going to be through with. Firefox web browser for now, so I'm just going to close it. So now I'm going to create a directory where I'm going to work with the files, and to do that I'm going to do Control Alt T. Make a directory, Jupyter Projects. You can make your own directory, whatever pleases you or however you want to organize this. I'm going to simply go to that directory. And I'm going to leave this open for now. And next thing, I'm going to go here to the File Browser, Files. And go to Downloads. This archive.zip is the Kaggle file that's been downloaded. I want to right-click on it. Extract here. You're going to see that right here is Top Richest in the World, CSV. And we'll right click on this, move to Home, Jupyter Projects, select. Go back to, then I'm also going to move the Fritchie's IP YNB Jupyter Notebook to same directory, Home, Jupyter Projects, and click Select. So now, don't need to use this anymore, so I'm going to do an LS and make sure everything's in there. Yes, it is. So now I'm going to start Jupyter Notebook. But before I do that, I have to activate Conda. And to do that, I do Conda Activate. 
and you'll notice over here it says this base and that's actually your base virtual environment for Conda or Anaconda and now I'll be able to start Jupyter Notebook. Hit enter and it will start. Our Fox web browser will start a little bit slow and if you've updated your Ubuntu version it will start. If you haven't updated your Ubuntu version, you'll see some commands that you can enter in your uh, terminal to get it to work. Currently this works, and so I'm simply going to open up this DF Richie's IPYNB. Here it is, and looks like it's already run. If it hasn't been run, you can go to cell, run all, so one thing you want to point out here, this is actually using Python that Anaconda downloaded, which is 3.9.12. We're importing Pandas and Matplotlib. I'm also importing Seaborn, but not using it, so I commented it out. But I just had that in there just to make sure everything was working. And for this one, imported regular expressions, regex as re. First thing I did was read the file into something called DF data frame richest and then out came the five rows then the shape which gives me a hundred rows actually it's a hundred and one rows because it starts at zero that makes it a hundred and one and then six columns ask it to list the column names and let's see what we got here the data types age is the only one that's a number an integer 64 bit everything else is an object and then you can get all that with just uh, info. The dot info. Let's see how most of these billionaires got rich and what industry they're working. Fashion and retail is number one, and technology is number two with 15. And oh, let's go down. Here's a pie chart of that data shown above. It's split out nice. Which country had the richest billionaires? Uh, United States, China, India, according to this data set. Here's a, another one, richest by country. Which uh, source developed the greatest number of billionaires? Is mining, hedge funds, Walmart, real estate, and finally Google. And then these are the last ones. That dot, dot, dot means it continues. And here... Asked for the age of these people, mean, standard, minimum, 25%, 50%. Max, 94. Well, I guess the min is 30. Got the youngest billionaire at 30 and the uh, max at 94. And here, I want to add myself to the billionaire club. I'm only worth about 100000 but hey, why not? So in order to do that, you can't really use the frame append method anymore. It's deprecated. Well, you can use. But basically, I made a new data frame, and then I concatenated it with original data frame that you got when you read everything in. And here I am. I'm with all the billionaires. And since I'm doing YouTube stuff, I put myself as source as Google. Technology as the industry. Since we're uh, dealing with billions, if you look back up here, I think the data was in, had dollars and commas and everything like that, but that's not going to be able to be calculated. I changed that to a number that can be calculated down here where I took out the dollar sign, replaced it with a blank, took out the commas and replaced it with a blank, and finally divided everything by nine zeros there and uh, so now the billions I mean, there's 102 now and uh, everything comes out nice and easy so you can calculate it and it seems like the best source of being a billionaire is Google because I believe there are three billionaires and here are the Three billionaires from Google, Larry Page, Sergey Brin, and Eric Schmidt. And, of course, since I'm working for Google, I'm going to be a billionaire from all the YouTube videos I'm making. 
I just put my name in there. Positive numbers, I'm over here at 0.001. And so I wanted to see how I would look like on a plot, on a bar plot. And I guess, well, I don't really show up. So I guess that's not working too well for me. Another way to get groups, because I got to Google Groups, is to use a Lambda function. So that's pretty much it for this demonstration, and it works. Oh, let me show you how to shut down Jupyter Notebook. If you need to make some changes or something, make sure you go to Save and Checkpoint, and then File, Close and Halt. And I can go ahead and close this. But what you're going to have to do is do a control C in the terminal. And it says shut down this notebook server and you've got about five seconds to type in a Y. So it kind of resumed operation because I didn't do it in that five seconds. And now it's shut down. So Jupyter Notebook is shut down. So in the next section I'll be showing how to set up a different virtual environment than the one that's the base virtual environment that came with Anaconda. Thank you for watching this. If you have any questions on this video, please ask them in the comments below. Also, if there is a video you would like to see made, please let me know. While I can't promise anything, I will try and look into it. Cheers.